Can we get started? Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you again for uh, joining our presentation. My name is Matt Thauberger. I'm uh, the general manager with Inspur Systems. Um, and we also have Giannis Ping, who heads up our product uh, marketing team to answer any questions as well that you may have. So to get into uh, Inspur and OCP and the, the timeline, um, Inspur's been a part of the OCP community now for about a year. Um, we, uh, uh, January of 2017, we became a platinum member um, of OCP. We released um, our OCP rack in March of 2017. And then um, in uh, late last year in Q4, we released uh, the compute board um, you know, that's based on the new uh, Xeon scalable architecture that I'll talk about today in a little bit. Um, so you know, our goal today is to continue um, being an active member in the OCP community, um, continue to develop new products um, that are needed. And in order to do that, the first step is to enhance our relationship, um, not just with the OCP community, um, but such as yourselves and users. Um, we want to find out, you know, what does the market need? What are, what are uh, the wants? What are the needs, right? Um, as we've done for, for many years, you know, Inspur is the third largest server manufacturer in the world, as reported by, by Gartner. Um, you know, we've, we've done this in many different arenas. Um, so, you know, we definitely want to understand your feedback, um, what end users need. From there, develop new products and technologies um, specific to the OCP initiative. And then we want to contribute. Um, so as we did with um, our compute board um, and some of the other products, uh, you know, the rack and things of that sort that we have, we want to continue to um, contribute and give full offerings and full solutions out in the marketplace. So the compute board that we released um, is a 2OU. Again, it's based on the Xeon scalable compute um, uh, architecture. And one of the nice things about the Inspur hardware, if you will, and we do this on our general servers as well, that we brought into the OCP design, is you can see we have different flavors of the I.O. Um, that, uh, based on customer configurations that they need. So we have you know, a version where you can put a three and a half inch drive in there with a couple of PCI slots. Um, you can put in two, two and a half inch SSDs. And then if you use an NVMe, you know, there's a rear I.O. for that as well. Um, so these are interchangeable. It's not, you know, one or the other. You can mix the nodes inside of a rack based on if, you know, you need some nodes with NVMe and some nodes with two and a half inch, you know, um, whatever your needs are, there is that flexibility in the node um, to do that. For end users that are looking for a more dense platform, we actually have a 1OU version of this same node um, that I have up here now that you can see. Um, so the one OU, again, more density inside, uh, inside that rack. As I mentioned earlier, we did um, contribute you know, the, the rack, which was OCP inspired, um, in order to house the max amount of density on the nodes that I just mentioned. So whether it's a 2U or the 1U, you know, we have our own rack, our own power shelves that go into that, so you can maximize density um, depending on you know, what your compute or other needs are. To move along from the nodes, um, one of the other major initiatives that we have is to release a remote management software suite. So you know, we understand that you know, releasing hardware is, is great, but we want to be able to give end users you know, a full, complete turnkey solution. So Inspur, we have our own remanagement software um, that we use on our general servers. However, with the OCP initiative, um, we are releasing a protocol based on Redfish. Um, we're also ensuring that it's compatible with Intel RSD 2.2. It supports DCMI 1.5 and also supports SNMP uh, functionality as well. From a BMC standpoint, um, we're going to give and ensure that um, end users have full system fault diagnostics um, in terms of that, that the BMC is going to report back any failures real time that may occur. It'll have key signal detection as well as you know, the logging function as well. So all the items with the remote management software and easy to use suite um, you know, that, that uh, um, end users are used to, um, that's what we hope to offer with this particular uh, software suite that we're giving. It also offers from a management um, standpoint everything that um, you need in order to remotely manage your nodes in your data center. So everything from system inventory, um, understanding you know, and monitoring CPU, memory, power supplies, et cetera, 
um, taking auto or manual screenshots, um, being able to configure the RAID, SAS, you know, all of that remotely as well, and then being able to obviously update BIOS firmware that remotely also. So all of this basically will come in our remote management suite. So you know we do have a demo of this um, running at our at our booth, but it is something that um, we are close to releasing, and it is something we will um, contribute. The next major milestone um, is Project Olympus, obviously based on the Microsoft specification. Um, so Inspur, you know, has a wide variety of products, um, you know, with four socket, eight socket, multi-node platforms. Um, you know, this uh, is another one to add to our portfolio. We believe that this is definitely going to help, um, you know, cloud workgroups and workloads, um, you know, be using the open architecture that the uh, four socket offers. And lastly, we have some storage designs um, that we are uh, currently in the design phase that we hope to release later on this year. So one of them is a 3OU that supports 64 drives. The other one is going to be a 4OU 106 bay um, drive system. So our goal here is obviously with the compute board release, the remote management software, the rack and the storage, we can give end users you know, a complete out of the box solution um, where they'll be able to have, you know, basically a plug and play solution that can drop right into their data centers. So in terms of product portfolio, um, that's all we had to share today. Again, we do have many of these products at our booth if you want to come by and, you know, have a look at any of the, uh, um, you know, features, any of the designs, anything of that sort, feel free to come by. Otherwise, like I said, we are here to, um, you know, hear feedback and uh, kind of understand what, uh, what's needed in the marketplace and how we can help. Any questions, any talking points we can answer for you? Okay, well, thank you very much, everybody.